Hello friends, welcome back or welcome to the channel. School hacks, school hacks you need to know, school hacks I need to try. And listen, I'm probably gonna be disappointed that the fact that I've already finished school and by finished, I mean dropped out, but that's okay. You can take these hacks and use them in school. Are they gonna be hit? Are they gonna be missed? Let's find out. Have you ever been going through your pencil case and struggling to find the perfect colored marker, the perfect colored pen? I have the hack for you, okay? It's simple, it's easy, it's life changing. And I don't just say that. So what you're gonna need is a pack of pens or a pack of texters and some duct tape. So now we're gonna grab the duct tape and we're gonna do this. I thought that was gonna make like a ripping sound. Okay, we lay this out and then we grab the pens one by one and just place them. Don't rush this tenor, it's very important. So you line them all up, your favorite colors. So as you can see here, we have the pens, all of your favorite colors. This is your new pencil case, easy to hold. It's like a fan. And then whatever color you want, rather than searching through a pencil case for literal years, you go like this. <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. Okay, this is amazing. This is incredible. Look at that. Wow. Just thank me later. Don't worry about it. Just thank me later. I'm not gonna lie, this one's kind of gross. It involves gum, it involves me chewing the gum, and it involves some pencils. So have you ever had a situation where your rubber on the end of your pencil runs out? Because listen, let's be real. When I was in school, I was writing a lot and making a lot of mistakes. So the eraser right here, it dwindled away very, very quickly. But you know that there's some still left in it. So how are you gonna prop up the eraser so that you're still able to use it without wasting any? Well, don't I have the hack for you. You're gonna need a pencil and you're gonna need some gum. Just bear with me, all right? I didn't think I'd be chewing gum for a video, but here we are. I'm gonna chew the gum. We remove the rubber from the end. Hello? Oh, okay, I got it. I can't put all of it in, so that means I gotta sit here and play with my gum. This is so gross, dude. Ew, what do I do with it? Do we just put it in? I still have too much gum. I didn't think I'd be 25 years old playing with my own gum. Like this is just nasty, bro. Okay, I don't know if there's a world where this actually fits in. Maybe I'll take some of the gum out. I'm not giving up yet, okay? Oh my God, I did it. I did it. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she gorgeous? That is disgusting. It didn't work. Work. Maybe obviously there was less rubber, less gum. I don't know. I was touching the gum with my fingers and I'm grossed out. My hands are sticky. Oh, it's okay, Dana. It's okay. Apparently, if you write on some paper and you highlight it, as we do, we're taking notes, we need to highlight. If you need to remove it, but you still want like the pencil or the pen, you can't use white out and redo it. Orange. Orange gets rid of the highlighter. My life will be changed. Not that I am writing notes anymore, but you could be writing notes. What do I say in notes? What, what, do, what do people say in school? Hello, I think you should subscribe. That's what they say in school, right? Fun fact, everyone, I am left-handed. Okay, so we're gonna do the highlighting. Wow, amazing, look, incredible. As you can see, I have the notes, but apparently I don't need to highlight it anymore, so let's get my trusty orange. I don't know if I believe this, but I'm gonna try it. Cut orange. Ooh, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, and I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, I need a cotton bud. Oh my God, I'm so dumb, dude. Lucky I checked the actual video. I was about to just rub orange on the entire page, okay? Apparently use a cotton bud, because otherwise it probably would get a little bit soggy, a little bit moist. We're gonna go like that. What does my life come to? Where am I? What happened? How did I get here? Okay, she is well and truly moist. This is the moment of truth. Why is this making me so nervous? Okay. Whew. What do you mean? It is coming off to some degree, but not well. Like it's not working whatsoever. There is a little bit coming off, but it's wetting the page. It's smudging everything else. It just looks cooked. No matter how lightly I rub, no matter how hard I rub, that just sounds nasty, bro. No matter how hard I try and no matter how lightly I touch the paper, I don't know, this just sounds gross. It's not working. I kind of wish I knew half of them when I was back in school. Like this one is a cheating hack. So if you have a test coming up, actually, no, I shouldn't encourage that. Don't cheat on your tests, study hard and work hard and, and all that. But if you are going to, there is potentially a way to do it. You're gonna need some tape. You're gonna need some balloons and you're gonna need a texter or a pen or whatever to write the answers to the quiz. Okay, starting off strong. I don't know if there's ever gonna be a situation in my life where I gotta do this, but maybe when I get married and I need to remember my vows, I'll do it this way. We're gonna get a balloon. We're gonna blow the balloon up. We're gonna write the answers to the test on the balloon. So let's say you've got a math test coming up. Two plus four equals 
seven. What? I know that that's wrong. It was a joke. It was a joke, okay? I'm smarter than that. Now we do what's nine plus 10 equals 21. As you can see, I have the answers to my upcoming maths tests on the balloon. We're gonna deflate the balloon. As you can see, the results to the exam are getting tinier and tinier. Oh my God, they're so tiny. Now it's laying down like that. We get a teeny tiny bit of tape. The tape is on the balloon. Okay, now we're gonna take it off. Come on, give me the answers. Come on, I'm just tapping a little bit, make sure it's all on there. Kind of working, just bear with me. This is tough, look at that. Can you see that, look at that. Okay, so now I've got to put it on my nail, right? Okay, so it's on my nail, but can I take it off? Okay, ready? Listen, it's very, very faded, but I think that that's good. Like it means that no one's gonna know that it's there. And if they really question it, you're gonna be like, uh, it literally is a new style of, um, you know, nail art, okay? Don't mind my gross ass nail, god damn. It's worked, it literally worked, I can see it. Now how the so I get it off my nail. These just keep getting better and better. It's time to get a tattoo. You know when you're in school and you wanna give yourself a little bit of a tattoo, but then it rubs off cause it's just pen? Well, don't I have the hack for you? Okay, what tattoo should I get? I already have potato. I already have yeet. I already have a martini glass. What do I get now? I've decided my next tattoo is gonna be garlic bread and I can't leave the house. I'm in lockdown. So I need to give myself an at-home tattoo. How do we do that? I don't know if this is gonna be good for my skin, but I'm gonna try. Okay, where do I want the, where do I want the garlic bread tattoo? It's gonna have to be on my hand, right? Amazing, oh my God, wow, she's tatted up. But I wanna make this permanent, okay? I wanna make sure that I can have this forever. Apparently we need a bit of baby powder and some hairspray. How long is this gonna be on my skin for? I mean, good thing I like garlic bread. I haven't smelt or seen baby powder in so long. We put the, we put the baby powder on, we rub it in. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. And then we grab the hairspray and we spray it. What is this actually meant to do again? Now I've put hairspray on it, it's all wet and it's gone all through like my skin. Ew, gross bro, look at that. Why is it doing that? It's ruined it. The hairspray has ruined it. You're just ruining it. Everything's fine. I don't, I don't know what the going on. Sometimes you're eating food and things get messy. They did it on a keyboard, but I don't really want to ruin my keyboard if this messes up. So what you gotta do is, we gotta eat food, of course. I don't know how I'm meant to put crumbs on the table. Like I'm not gonna sit here and eat with my mouth full, or am I? That was probably the grossest thing I've ever done in the history of my channel. So I guess the idea is that the Play-Doh is some sort of vacuum perhaps in between like the small crevices of your keyboard, of your car or whatever, or Play-Doh's so good, dude. I think they say you can use Play-Doh or slime. I feel like slime would be better because like when you put that down, it's not really like pouring out, which I feel like you need when you're using a keyboard. But like, I mean, we'll, we'll try it anyways. Let's see if it works. It did it, it picked it up. Now my Play-Doh is ruined with chips. Now my table is ruined with chips. And now the internet has seen me chew up food and, and spit it out. I'm embarrassed, okay? I don't know how I feel about that hack, okay? I'm not sure what's going on. Have you ever ran out of paint and you think, I want to paint. Painting makes me feel happy. But you've got some M&Ms and some Skittles. You'll be fine. I got you, don't worry. I want to paint something blue. I'm going to get all the blue M&Ms. So I feel like painting a blue circle. That's all I've ever wanted to paint. See the coating on the M&Ms? That's gonna be our paint today. It's already working. The color literally ran instantly, bro. Okay, these are probably the most useless hacks you'll ever need to know, but you need to know them, all right? Cause then you know that if you ever need them, they're there. The moment of truth. I mean, I'm very impressed already, but what are we gonna do? Very watercolory. Watercolor. It's like a very watercolor based paint, but it still works. Look. Oh my God. Pretty blue picture. Wow. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Good luck at school. <laughs>